Gran Turismo Sophie is back. After a quiet period following its initial reveal earlier this year, we've got to see Sophie back out on track once again. For those of you who may not know, Sophie is a collaboration between Sony's AI division and Polyphony Digital as a machine learning super fast AI driver intended for implementation into Gran Turismo 7 in the future at some point through an update. We'll touch more on that later, but the last time we saw from the Sophie AI, it was embarrassing the world's best Gran Turismo players in both a time trial challenge and an online race where four of the Sophie AIs faced off against four of the best Gran Turismo Sport players. Bearing in mind this was February, this was just prior to the release of Gran Turismo 7 and where they had started developing Sophie. And now we return to GT Sport to see it once again. This time on a time trial challenge that's been available to GT Sport players for a few years now. The Lewis Hamilton time trial challenge and in particular the last stage of that challenge the Sauber C9 at the Nürburgring, where players were rewarded handsomely with quite a lot of credits if you were to beat the diamond time set by Lewis Hamilton, which was a 5 minute and 40.6 second lap. Needless to say, a pretty damn quick time and one that I couldn't quite topple. The best Gran Turismo players could, but none of them beat them as much as Sophie did, because the AI did a lap a full 17 seconds faster than that diamond target time. The lap was uploaded to the Sony AI channel and we're going to take a look at it because it is very interesting. Unfortunately there's no telemetry and it's just the replay cameras that we get to take a look at but you can still tell a fair bit from this because it's not the laser guided millimeter perfect precision you might expect. No, it's a bit more of a wild ride than that. As you can see, it's obviously ridiculously quick and perfectly efficient in getting its lap time, but it's using all the track and, in multiple occasions, a lot more than that. Four wheels off the grass while still retaining a valid lap and just completely exploiting those track limits. And there we have it, I think exploiting is the word of the day here. Because while a lot of this looks kind of ridiculous, I mean, what's that all about? The AI on display here is so advanced, it knows how to take advantage of the game's inaccuracies and where it's obviously a little bit more forgiving to make it easier for your average Joe. It does things the normal player wouldn't even think to do in terms of track limits and the aggression with the way it smacks curbs for example. You shouldn't really be able to do that in a race car that has the same centre of gravity as a worm, but it knows it can get away with it, so it does, to be as ruthlessly efficient and as quick as possible. Now, this may come as no surprise to those of you that saw Sophie back in action in February. It was taking some pretty big liberties with track limits back then on the time trial challenges, and even in the races against human players, it was exhibiting some aggressive behaviour. But in spite of that aggression, no time is wasted. It might look a little wacky, but in a car like the Sauber C9, high downfalls, rear wheel drive, slick tyres, a human player, if it tried to emulate the lap of Sophie, would have moments of oversteer. It's very hard, especially with a turbocharged car like that, to judge the throttle inputs exactly right. You can have little wiggles and things of that nature, but of course, Sophie completely rules that out, and that's what's allowed it to go 17 seconds faster than Lewis Hamilton. Now I know maybe he could have gone faster, he's a busy man, he's got more things to do than practice that lap all day, but it's at the point now where he is trying to emulate Sophie. Bruh. Yeah, I think there's some work to do there fella, and <laughs> I've just realised looking at the Sauber replay, the car's number is 63. That's kind of ironic isn't it? Moving on, what does all of this mean then? It goes without saying, for the average player and to be accessible for the user base of GT7 when it's implemented, it's going to have to be turned down a fair notch. But I do fear it might be a long way off. Because in the half a year that we've known about Sophie's existence, we've only seen it in full-on maximum attack mode. It's going to teach us how to be faster. 
intentionally, but there is another side to it, which Kaz has stated himself, and that is that we have to teach it sportsmanship, and at the moment, I've seen no evidence of that. Nevertheless though, I am excited to see the development of Sophie, and how the timeline progresses, and when we'll actually get to experience it in a practical sense for ourselves. Let me know what you think about Sophie in the comments and how you'd like to see it implemented and also when you think we'll see it implemented. But that's going to be it from me, thank you very much for watching and have a good day.